Is your hair naturally curly? Yes, is this it? is normal. That's normal. <laughs> it's very lovely. <laughs> What's your favourite song? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Chris. No, I'm sorry. If... We don't have time to talk to the man. No, we do have time to talk to the man. How did it get on, the Mini, in its first proper rally? Well, on the first... Well, there we are. Good. <laughs> oh, that gap's big enough. It is now. Peugeot 508 is a good-looking car as well, isn't it? It is. No, we've got a picture of it here. Because what makes that particularly good is that Peugeots in recent years have had these sort of the big guppy mouths on them. Ah. Yes, that. Yes. <laughs> that is a very good impersonation of a Peugeot. No, that's what Not they now, used to but, be. Uh, uh, I can only impersonate a Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> that's not bad. Can you do any other car? No, I can only do Peugeots, but I can do any Peugeot you name. 308? 207. <laughs> well, no, what's the people carrier? Can you do that one? Yeah, hang on, that's... <laughs> I'll stump him. You know the tiny little one, the 1007 with the electric sliding doors? Oh! Uh, uh... <laughs> it's exactly like that. Are you a bloke? Um... Yeah. So you're not actually... Cher isn't actually a, a man? No. I'm a man that plays share. Right. I got you, I could really use a burger right now. Right, well that's my kind of language. Um, I'll see what I can do, sir, madam. Sir. Madam. Madam. The grip is just mind-boggling. As I shall now demonstrate graphically with my face. Look, there's, there's turning my voice on. Oh, 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 bloody hell. All I've got is the PlayStation G reading telling me how much damage this car is doing to my internal organs. My children are watching this now. Don't worry. Your dad's not having a stroke. Just driving a Nissan. Why will they be there, though, really? I don't, I've never understood that. So you drive hundreds of miles in your car to look at some cars that are exactly the same as the car that you just drove there in. It, it, well, is there anyone here from a car owner's club? You are? And, and this is which club? Marlin. The what? Marlin. That's Marlin. A, that's a fish. That's a very lonely... <laughs> no, it's a very lonely owner's club, that. He goes and stands in a field all by himself. <laughs> Is anybody here from a car club that's got more than one member? <laughs> what? Renault Clio Owners Club. How could there be an owners club for that? Do you go and meet and stand in fields? Car parks. Car parks. <laughs> oh, well, I want to join. Well, I've got a Renault I'm Clio. Up for that. So have I. <laughs> Any other car, car makers car here? Anyone from the MG Owners Club? Well, not here, obviously. No, obviously, <laughs> that's a good point. They won't be here. They'll be on the A3 going, oh, no. <laughs> No, because, if you think about it, all Germans, no matter how well they speak English, can't say squirrel. Right, what's this? Oh, uh, that would be a squirrel! <laughs> Are there any Glaswegians here? Me. Really, come here. Where are you? <laughs> come, 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 come. come on, I want to just test this. Just talk to me. Are you actually from Glasgow? Yes. Right, can you say burglar alarm? Burglar alarm. <laughs> 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 If you were presented with McLaren F1, <laughs> think of another one. Yeah. The imperiousness one gets from a Range Rover. Ah, right, okay. Going this way. Yes, there you go. Another everyday irritation.
popping into the supermarket and coming out to find yourself blocked in. Again, no problem for the Marauder thanks to its vertical climbing system. Low range, four wheel drive, div lock, put in drive, handbrake off. This is not Top Gear, and this is not 2011. It's 1972. I have an enormous moustache, and I am the star of a new TV detective show. Nice wheels. We'll rock your head. I would have done if you'd gone within a metre of it. I did go within a metre. You're like swatting a You're supposed to go like that. That was rubbish. Did you That's see right. that? Yeah, it was rubbish. What was? We can't just go around pretending to punch each other. You're wrong. Well, now they've come up with another new car. Got a picture of it here. We have no details at all, but we do know its name. It's called the twat waffle <laughs> That's interesting. Is yeah. this going to be a, a rival for the new Pagani? <laughs> <laughs> Good. The, the, the replacement for the Zonda is called the... the Hurrah! A, a, so it's spelled H-U-A-Y-R-A, the... Hurrah! So, so you've got a choice now, if you're a wealthy person, between the twat of <laughs> or the hurrah. So a car maker's now naming their cars after the noises people make when they're punched in the stomach. <laughs> the Lamborghini... <laughs> One problem I have with electric cars is that they're just not very heroic. Quick, James, I have the antidote. We need to be in the hospital in 20 minutes. Only you can save me. <laughs> you may regret that. 68, 69 miles an hour. 70. Well, let me put it this way. 70. And it is, pound for pound, the most exciting car on sale. Not my words, not my words, the words of Autocar magazine. Autocar? Yes. The magazine that sacked you? Yes. And sh I could point out that it's £16,000 and yours is what, 23? You, where's your aircon? Cruise control, sat nav, you haven't got anything. This it's, got, has... it's got aircon. It's an optional extra. It's an option that's been selected. You've only got, what, you've got 197 horsepower? Yeah. 204. That's very nearly as much power as yours. In the same way that the Egyptian army is very nearly as powerful as the American army. Uh Meanwhile, I think that ramp may have been a bit of a mistake because the view from here and the view over that way of trees suggests I am actually on top of the wall. Still, could be worse. Hi. Hello, what I can I? Yeah, have you seen a Fiat, a small black and white Fiat on your travels? Nothing to see here. Just a man driving on top of a historic monument. Where I'm going is this. A bird defecated on my car this week. Well, oh, well that's to terrible. be fair, that's not that unusual, mate. It'll have happened to people here. <laughs> not like this. OK, I've brought an iPad here. I know how they work, of course. <laughs> here is the bird. Yes, it's some bird poo on your back window. Now, that's a significant quantity of bird poo, would you not? You'd say that's a big bird that did that. Look at this. <laughs> he gets to there and you think, it must be the end. <laughs> that is a metre of faeces! <laughs> what bird can do a metre of faeces? I am two metres tall and I can't do a metre of faeces. Hang on, you live in Oxfordshire, you've got yes. those red kites there and they are big birds. They are big birds and they are carnivores. Now, I examined this faeces and there were seven cherry stones in it. <laughs> had a field mouse in a cherry jus in Oxfordshire. It didn't. If it, the cherry stones were in its gut, it must have eaten the cherry hole, which means it must have had a mouth like a Peugeot. <laughs> what kind of bird can have a gallon of guano in its gut and still take off and achieve sufficient altitude to defecate on my Range Rover? Big one. What? It was a flying cow. What? 
James, you really do live in Hammersmith, don't you? <laughs> we should bear in mind this is the man who believes cows lay eggs. And he does. <laughs> he said that on the show. You said that. I you... said eggs come from cows. Well, did you see that? <laughs> How much did you pay for this? 6,700. Yours? 6,995. Less. How old is it? Uh, 94. It's 17 years old. <clears throat> Nine. Really? Nine years old. How yeah. many miles has it done? 127. Uh, 54,000. Rubbish. Why what? does it have casters from a sofa instead of wheels? OK, it's, it's, it's period. They were that size in those days. What are they? 17? 16? 16? 16 inch. That's 16 what they were. inch wheels. And you know full well that that means fatter tyres and that means a better ride. Fact. It's got Smarties for wheels. And is that ruched leather? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Why do people from Birmingham like a ruche? <laughs> the foam fitting was rather disturbing. Why? What are you doing? You're in my actual anus. That was my actual anus that you put your hand in. It's a, it's, it's a part of the program. <laughs> <laughs> Things that just happened that I didn't think would happen today. John Lacey, who I used to hero worship, is playing with my genitals. Throughout the rest of the day, there were some issues. I, for example, was not that accurate with the digger. No, no, no! Hang on, hang on! Oh, God! Jeremy nearly caused a power cut. And when Richard stopped off in town to buy some tea, he got a bit confused with all his lorries' levers. Do you do tea? Tea breakfast, English breakfast tea for workers. But, but, I think there is a problem with this car. Because they've called it the Growler. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, we, we, we Googled Growler. <laughs> and we were quite surprised and a bit shocked by what it turns out to mean. And do you know, Richard, I've just forgotten what it is. What does it mean? Can you tell the ladies and gentlemen? Well, you know those big welcome mats you might see on a girl in the 70s? <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> right. that... Why would you name your car after that? Do you, honestly, James, I don't think they knew. I think they're sitting now in Zurich or wherever they are. Uh, th this is the first time they've realised that growler means that yeah. in England. And they'll be sitting going, Gott in Himmel! Wolfgang, we have accidentally named the car after Ein Fraugarten! <laughs> and just when you think it can't possibly get any better than this, you push the little M button on the steering wheel, and the whole car shimmies. It's like a shiver of excitement. The, the feeling you'd get if someone suddenly gave you permission to set fire to Piers Morgan. Ooh, yes. Ooh. Jaguar now have a permanent testing facility at the Nürburgring. <laughs> Where they should have a permanent testing facility is between the two mini roundabouts in Chipping Norton, where I live, because that is the bumpiest stretch of road in the known universe. And it's been dug up again by that, what's that construction company called that you can't pronounce? Chlamydia. They're not chlamydia. <laughs> Clockly, clan, clan, whatever it's called. I know the one you mean. So yeah, it'll yeah. just be intolerable in a car like that. So hang on, let me just get this straight. You're saying that Jaguar should tailor their cars to the Chipping Norton set? Yes. Well, what's the point of that? Aren't they all going to be in prison next week? <laughs> now, is there a communication cord to stop the train? Yes, yes, yes. Where's that? I'm going to check it, actually. I'm about to ask the driver, Mr May, to slow down a little bit just while we're serving the drinks.
sort of thing you love that, isn't it, James? Mm, lovely. What distressed us greatly was there was an advertisement on the back page for some leathers. And it was the model that was being used that has terrified us. Here it is. There is no point denying that it's you because he's wearing brown shoes. It's got to be you. It is you. You looked exactly the same in 1976 as you. When were you born? Well, I, was only, I was only 12. You weren't though, were you? <laughs> you know, I've speculated many, many, many times over the years on what sort of a man appears as a model in leather. Yeah. <laughs> You've let the motorcycling side down there badly. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Now there he is, you see, he's just past the tyres, he's doing about 115 miles an hour and, oh look, it spat him off! Yes, no, but even on the wet grass it's still in shape. No, that's just how good the stick is, not the car, you fool. It spat him off. <laughs> big price, small car, big price, fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Interestingly enough, though, uh, Hammond, the producer said that because your dog wasn't real, that is minus two points. Minus two? Yes. Yeah. And uh, also because your cedar tree turned out to be a larch, that's another minus two. <laughs> yeah. I'm and finally, it. you didn't get a CD. So that's minus... Oh, let me guess. Is it six? Yes, it is. <laughs> is it? <laughs> six and two... two. Uh, it's naught. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it's yes. yes. right. yes. yes. naught for that. Yeah. People in the car. Uh, James, you got 12. I got 13 in the uh, Citroen, and yeah. you got no. I got 14 for that. What? I got 14 in it. No, no, unfortunately, the producers have said that because your people weren't actually in your convertible, they were sort of on it, you were disqualified. <laughs> <so. laughs> oh, for God's sake. It's naught. No, because the producers said it was a test of hot hatchbacks, and you must have a points deduction for turning up in a car that wasn't a hatchback. <laughs> really? How many points does he lose for that? It's five. Is it? Is it really? Is it, is it really? Yeah. So, so I get naught again. <laughs> yes. After a microscopic examination, Manlove was ready with the results. Well, why don't we go Hammond first, since you usually lose these? All right, then. With the BMW, first of all, we're lacking faeces this time. No faeces. No faeces. No faeces. Good. We do have plenty of saliva, which you would expect. It's on the car phone. When you talk, obviously, little spatters uh, of saliva yeah. come out. We also had a lot of um, material uh, which looked like rolled nasal mucus again. What nasal mucus? Rolled. Uh, rolled nasal mucus. As, as so in, that's um, picking and flicking. Absolutely. <laughs> there we are. Finally, um, there was a, a odour of urine. Somebody in there has wet themselves. It was a general pervading aroma. So I'm in another lavatory. <laughs> right, the Mercedes. Um, there was uh, some white powder um, found on tapings, as uh, was some herbal material that looked like it had been cut or chopped. Now, we didn't do any further testing on that. White powder sounds like talc. Yeah, it could be talc and flour. And moving on to the front passenger seat, there was a rhinestone. Um, and then uh, we had chemical reactions that we would frequently um, find if we were examining different types of cases on potentially vaginal swabs present. Vaginal material on the passenger seat. Refreshments, gentlemen. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. Even here, we're stuck behind caravans. If I'm honest, though, that wasn't the most immediate problem. Oh, for God's sake! Oh, this is really bad. A member of the working classes is now taking a dump in full view of the editor of Railway Express magazine. Oh, whoa, no, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm very sorry about this. I plant my foot on there and then I go... Bloody hell! Tremendous! 
I've never gone off the line that well in a car. Not a car with launch control or anything. That's that's just terrific. Just make sure it wasn't a fluke. So you put your left foot on the brake, plant the throttle and... <laughs> or it fell on the back of the piano or whatever happens to your homework. It is really weird and somebody's forgot to tell Richard Hammond that we're even here. Because it's not... Oh, Hammond! I better ring him up, hang on. <laughs> No, he isn't there. There's somebody there who looks like Richard Hammond, but who actually isn't. It does look like Richard Hammond. It does look like Richard Hammond. Hang on a minute. But would he do, he'd do, actually, as Richard Hammond, wouldn't he? Would it be under C for Why don't we just get him? No, 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 we'll get him in, because he looks... Excuse me! Here comes Richard Hammond now. Yeah, I don't need to bring Richard Hammond now. No, he's here. Yeah, that's Richard. All right, Richard. Richard. If you just stand there, just, just pretend you're Richard Hammond. Just Sorry, Richard I don't have to say anything. Just stand, just stand like there, thing. there we go. So, um... Yeah, he's not standing there. No, you stand like this. Richard always does this. Side on to the... Side on, makes it look sort of taller. Side on, and then roll back. Thin your eyes, one eyebrow slightly higher than the other. Look slightly quizzical. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you don't that's quite the, understand what's going on, that's pretty That's good, perfect. Yeah. So you just stand there looking like that. So you're saying ours is too... They're all too long. I think we could set an example to the world. Actually, with the Olympics coming up mm -hmm. in 2012, by making national anthems a bit shorter, we could get ours paired right down. What? <laughs> what? Send her, we hope she's victorious and lives a long time. No, 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 no. That's too long. <laughs> Not very long. Is. I'm thinking more along the lines of... Dip, 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 dip. Dip, dip. There you go. <laughs> what, so he gets up on the podium and yeah, then no, just... exactly. Well, you'd have to have the roll on the drum so that people got ready, you know, Well, that's quick, isn't it? I like it. That is actually a brilliant idea. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Now, since hunting was banned, one sees the horses frolicking gaily in the fields. Enjoy... <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me while I just back off and have a bit of a gloat. If we look over here, we see traditional farming methods, and I think that pretty much covers the lecture. I'm just doing a lecture on the countryside. <laughs> Nothing to see here, uh, and that's it. So now we'll be on our way. <laughs> oh dear! Bye! <laughs> People of first class! Oh, he's found a Land Rover. 94,000 gentle miles. It in a war zone. Richard, oh. not really what we're looking for. Please okay. don't look at Land Rovers. Okay. That's the fuselage of a Harrier. These are fantastic. Oh no. Oh my god. Come on, chaps. Yeah, there's nothing else to see in here. <laughs> oh, oh my. Bloody hell. <laughs> I'm in the the helicopters. Gazelles. Hey. <sighs> well, that's it. That's my life over. No time to lose! <laughs> 80 miles an hour! Ha-ha! Meanwhile... Penis, 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 is my channel. Hello, chaps. Can I offer you refreshments? Oh, certainly. You got a coffee, please? No. Do you have any chance for a Danish pastry, please? No. Slow it down by one mile an hour. This there's, uh, there's a lot on this as well, a lot, a lot of equipment. It's got a rear view camera. It's also got a multimedia system that can bring up Facebook and Twitter. I don't want one anymore. <laughs> now, why would you want that on your dashboard? You're driving up the A1. Oh, look, Lily Allen's having sardines in Notting Hill. That's interesting. It's not relevant. Is that necessary? I mean, no. do fighter pilots have Twitter on their dashboard? Yes. I'm locked onto target. I'm committed. Oh, hang on a second. Stephen Fry's just said something brainy about a play. Hold on. <laughs> you don't need the thing. I really do think we get too much information when we're driving around now. I mean, those signs that say spray possible, which on a nice day in June, it isn't. And you know those posters, OK, that used to be adverts that said drink food and eat beer or whatever it yeah. is. Toothpaste. On them. Yeah, Sorry. use toothpaste. <laughs> well, now they've made them electronic and Sky News has got one and it gives you snippets of news as you drive by. Now, I was driving past one the other day. It'd be OK if it was short, but it's quite long. So you're going, J.K. Rowling, Saks agent after... <laughs> Where are you going? That's funny, I was driving down the A40 just after you the other day and the headline was quite brief. It said, Clarkson has massive accident. 
Hamilton's own Lewis Hamilton. Watch and learn. This is how you pass a Ferrari. Oh, I know I'm crashing into it. Oh! 